Hey there, Kyle here at Maple Systems. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you one of our headless HMIs, the CMT FHDX820. Let's take a look. Okay, let's open the box. And the first thing you'll see is the warranty, and then there is the headless HMI installation guide. Go to the side, and then you'll see the headless HMI. And it's wrapped in anti-static, so we'll just remove it from the anti-stack wrapping. And then here is the headless HMI. So there are two LAN ports, so two Ethernet ports used for uploading and downloading your project as well as going online. It's also used for various Ethernet protocols. Then above that is a 2.0 USB port used for uploading or downloading your project. As well, it's used for backing up your files, so it's used for extended memory. And then here, there's a COM port. This is a DE9 serial port, which is RS-232 and RS-4852 or 4 wire. It's also used for various serial protocols. And then below that is a green power connector. This is for your 24 volt DC power supply. And then on the top of the HMI, there is a HDMI out. So this is a 1080p resolution HDMI output. And then on the bottom of the HMI, there is a dip switch and a reset button. So here is the CMT FHDX820 and I have an ethernet cable going into LAN one. And I also have my 24 volt DC power supply wired. Right next to it, I have one of our Monitor 6000s. This is our 15 inch model. Now our Monitor 6000s are optically bonded. They have a projected capacitor touchscreen. They are also 1000 nits, high brightness, and they also have a wide range of operating temperature, sunlight readable, and also have a full aluminum enclosure. They also have several video inputs, VGA, display port, and an HDMI input. So from my FHDX, I have an HDMI cable going out and into the Monitor 6000. And I'm going to display the demo project on the monitor and I'll be using EasyWeb 2.0 from a browser to show you the demo project. But first, I'm going to power on the FHDX and the monitor. And the FHDX will boot up as well as the monitor. You'll see the CMT series logo and it will load the demo project. So now let's go into EasyWeb 2.0. Okay, now I'm in WebView and I'm just gonna log in to control mode. So it's gonna be six ones by default, log in. And then here's the demo project. So now I'm just gonna control it here from the browser. I'm gonna walk you through some of the features in the demo project, and then I'll go through some of the HMI system settings as well. So I'll click on switches and lamps, and you'll see it also in the monitor in the bottom left corner of the screen. And turn on some bits, turn off, you can toggle, momentary you can also jog up and down for your word lamp to change your state down here there's some more toggles and switches so those are switches and lamps let's go home let's go to trend display here's a simulated trend display let's go back home go to recipe database let's go over to the actual recipe example so here's an example of a recipe that you can have here in the demo project Go back home. Now let's check out some of the system settings for your FHDX. To do that, you go to the top left corner of your project and here's a circular object. Click that and it'll open up your system settings. So you'll notice there are some settings here, but to access all of your settings, you'll need to enter an admin password, which is six ones. So click this lock object here, enter six ones. One, 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 you can press enter. And now you can see all your settings. So on your FHDX, there's an information tab that gives you your ethernet settings, as well as HMI name. And if you go to code assist, if you have a separate license for code assist, you can activate it here. General, you can change the brightness of your screen right here. You can see it in on the monitor, bottom left corner, it changes the brightness. Turn it back all the way up. You can turn off your sound here as well. 
And here's network settings to change your IP address, time and date, HMI name. You can clear history on your HMI. Project management, you can restart your EB Pro project. You can change your system password from six ones to whatever you like, enhance security. You can enable VNC, easy access 2.0, you'll need a separate license for. So those are a lot of the settings on your HMI. So now what I want to do, I want to download a project from Easy Builder Pro onto the FHDX. So let's go into Easy Builder Pro. Okay, I am in Easy Builder Pro now, and the first thing I wanna show you is that there are over 400 communication protocol drivers that you could connect to in Easy Builder Pro. So to do that, go to your Home tab, System Parameters, New Device, and then here you can click and you can see all the communication protocol drivers here in this list. Okay, now I'm gonna download a project to the FHDX 820. So to do that, go up to Download, Make sure you have the correct IP address here and IP, check off runtime, click download. Now it'll take some time for the project to download to the HMI. You'll see stop project, download CXOB. You can also see in the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see the monitor going through the process, extracting, you can see the CMT series logo. It's going to reboot the HMI then it'll say finished and it will load the demo project onto the HMI and you can see the demo project from the Monitor 6000. Well, that's all for today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it on YouTube and subscribe to the Maple Systems YouTube page. To get more information on our headless HMIs, you can always visit the Maple Systems website or reach out to our sales team, sales at maplesystems.com. Also, be sure to watch our EB Pro training series in the video center under the support tab on the Maple Systems website. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.